Hey everyone, Yasity here, welcome back. Today we're heading into the Warrens with the purpose of killing the Swine Prince and maybe afterwards the Flesh Boss, so let's get to it. I have a kind of unconventional party in mind. I'm hoping it's going to work because they don't have much healing, but let's see how it works. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. A nameless abomination, a testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. And so I figured out what was up with the uh, background music pack last time. I was kind of a moron, as you could kind of tell with how my brain was working. And I forgot to turn the background music pack on. So let's see if it works now. The music seems to be working. <laughs> yeah, you can tell how well my brain was working at all. So let's start by marking, because this group does really well against marked things. We're going to, uh... The, the succubus is the entire epitome of this party. She is going to be taking as much damage from everything as possible, building up to the boss. And stunning things, it looks like. We're going to get rid of the drummer. I remember not right, liking the right, too, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, let's just get rid of him, because he was upgraded. Keeping with this to get her damage up. Oh, that's until camp. Crud. I might not be able to camp now. And now it's just him. Oof. And that clears corpses. Interesting. Alright, let's do this. We're going to use some of that food to heal. That's going to be one of our only ways to heal. Let's mark for Dismas. Get her damage up. And we'll see what happens here. A good resist. Get some more damage up. 8% per one of those of a full group is pretty nice. Taking one out. Hopefully taking another out. And... Taking a third out. Alright. I think this group is doing okay. Hopefully I don't run out of food here. Um, I don't think I brought a key there, so we gotta do this. Which means we don't get very much out of it, but it is what it is. It'll get us even more food. Wealth beyond so we can to the just keep topping off here. Like. Oh, 
Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. I'm going to get the damage buff on her because, like I said, she's kind of the epitome here. So she has plus 66 damage until camp. Oh, is the boss actually going to be in that little corner there? Interesting. Can I see what this gives her? Bypassing that. Maybe we'll get something good from the books. Solve the experience from the quest. 80%, 80%, 90%. There we go. Although I kind of shouldn't be trusting the Falconeer after the last time. Don't think I've seen this one before. That's kind of cool. I, and like I said, we're kind of just bypassing the uh, camp. But I think I'm actually going to do this for a little extra damage on the Succubus. Don't want her to move. Crud. Well, let's move back. Duelist advance. Deal all their damage. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. As the fiend falls. Got another invitation, not that we really need it. I did actually um, shoot one episode that ended up kind of having some mistakes in it, where like there was no sound playing for some reason because of some tech issues. So I got about halfway through the Baron's Courtyard um, in one shot, so I don't think we're going to need many invitations past that. Uh, we'll heal everyone up really quick. Don't think he needs it. And just for Gigglies, we'll max out the torch before we go into the boss. Alright, so. This is where things might get interesting. We're gonna mark the boss, lower his accuracy. Gonna duelist advance to get the attack back on him. He is now marked, so we can do this at higher damage. And revelation. <laughs> he has up crit, up accuracy, and damage against anything that is marked, and then up accuracy and up crit again against anything that is marked. So let's see what we do. Oh boy. That could be bad. Because we don't have a healer. Okay, what happens then? I think I can do this to make sure she gets attacked, maybe? Damage versus marked. And damage versus marked. If he would have hit. Yep, that guarantees she was attacked so that he doesn't get. Alright, continuing on. I think we can get him this turn. If we would have crit there. Ho ho ho. Having kind of bad luck with the crits. Master 
masterfully executed. The thing is even more horrible in death. Liquefaction cannot come soon enough. <laughs> Liquefaction? Alright, let's mark him so we can take him out. ASAP. I'm gonna squeal and I think that's gonna death blow. Or death door at least. Alright. Alright, uh... Clear or stun? Oh, wow. That was the right call to take. <laughs> I can't believe that worked out. Alright, Swine Prince down. Not much in the rewards or heirlooms. We did get him down. We did get some quest rewards, like the Fortifying Garlic, which I almost never really use, but it might come in handy with mods. Quincy did get level 3, though, so I don't think we can use her now for the Flash boss. But that was actually really fun. Poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. Actually, come to think of it, I think he's part of another mod we installed, and I don't have a good feeling about this. Thankfully, though we may be to our honored guest, we ask that they do not stray too far into the wilderness, as well as refrain from sustained inquiry as to the nature of this request for the sake of their health. Huh. Minus, er, plus 10% protection on the next quest. Um. Let's see if we get anyone good here. A hound master, I've been wanting one of these. Since our other one died. A man and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. And I might actually be able to use him in this group instead. Let's go back. Get him the one skill I want on him, which he has, never mind. And let's go get the flesh. And cohate flesh. zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Now that those are there, let's go get them. You see a secret room, I'm gonna go get that right away. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Gonna pop out here to see what this curio is. I think I'm actually gonna get this on Lors, the bounty hunter. If nothing else, it'll help us get to the boss faster. And this is why we brought the skeleton key. Arya's head. Guard duration received, stress damage received. That could be good, depending upon who we use it on. There's another torch. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Alright, some spiders. Nothing too big. Let's just take them out. There's no music playing. Wonder if it broke. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Another one falls. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. There we go. That was a little odd. <laughs> a little bit of a delay. All right, um, what does he have? Yeah, let's go for it. Menacing. And let's just go for the boss. 
such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. All right. Drums of doom. Let's take a brawler. No. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna go at what I can. Okay, one down. We are going to then target with Soldi Drummer so that one of the back rows of ours can target him. Target whistling the chopper to take him down before he can stun us again. Alright, one to go, or er, technically two to go. And we'll end it this turn. Give them no quarter. Nice resist on the bleed. Ooh, give him a thwack on the head and we'll be done. Can you use these? I think what I'm actually going to do. A fortune waiting to be spent. So I can have 30% damage on him. Or I can camp and get a lot more buffs, so I, I'm probably going to do that. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Because this is how we do it for the crit. Clean guns. I thought she had some other stuff. And heightened senses. Then we're going to encourage... Is lit. The and on is we clear. go. We require only the strength to follow it. Honestly, I'd rather have the crit than the damage up anyway, so. Squirming, contorting, and ever expanding. This horror must be right. marking the heart. We're going to dog treat and then do this so we can try to bleed all of them. And once again, pop. Alright. So that's only four to nine rather than like anything else he could hit. So instead we're gonna mark the heart back there so we can hit that one with everyone. Let's pop again. That would be wow. And there we go. I think we can get this thing still there. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. And it'll bleed out. It's kind of nice and funny. <laughs> its destruction is a small consolation, given the implications of its terrible existence. 
I did not expect to get that so quickly. And a lot more treasure on that run, which is pretty nice. One whole heirloom. Bulker. Interesting. Well, that's it for the apprentice level bosses there. How much time has passed since I sent that letter? I don't think I'm going to be getting either of them because I have level four heroes, and I don't want to be spending these marks because they're for the Hamlet districts here. Some of which are things I would actually really want if I had the blueprints and could figure out how to actually get them. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. So I think that's where I'm actually going to end this one for now. I know this was a shorter episode. I thought it was going to take a bit longer. But that was kind of the goal for today, was ending those two bosses. Um, now that the Warrens is... Oh, there's another spider nest in here. Interesting. So that'll probably be the goal for next time, is getting the spider nest in the Warrens. And then we'll either go to the Cove or the Weald. And level up those and get those apprentice bosses out of the way. Uh, and then we'll be going to the veteran level stuff and maybe get the courtyard and the farmstead out of the way while we're at it too. So that's kind of the game plan for now. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.